Hey everyone and welcome to this quick video of showing you all the things that I think is needed for you to have a good league in Path of Exile. So this is specific for Path of Exile Sentinel League and the preparation that you can do for this one but this generally applies to every league. I will cover some beginner things and also some things that could apply for someone who has been playing for a while. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about Path of Building. I will put a link in the description to Path of Building Community Fork, which in my opinion is the best one to use. Uh, this is where you can plan out your build, look at your damage, tweak your items and things like that. So you would just click here on the setup and you will it will download for you. Um, I'll put a link to this into the description. In Path of Building, if you decide on which build you want to play, you go to Import Build and then you paste the code from the guy's build you want to follow here and you can say import this will not be grayed out and it will be importable then normally they put notes here at this section that says leveling tree maybe end game tree mid game tree stuff like that and it will show you which nodes you need to allocate for that particular setup they'll also show you a gem setup that you can follow they will show you what items they used and if you hover over the items it will tell you what stats was on them. On the configuration tab is the last thing I quickly want to just touch on. In general uh, it's better if someone has very few things sticked here. It will give you a more generic sense of how strong the world will be. In my case I have chilled because I do cold damage and I'm using hypothermia which has a damage support. I have frenzy charges because I'm a raider and I have fortified tick because I have fortified support in my links. A lot of people use shock to boost their damage numbers. So you'll see here if I click shock to maybe 10% you'll see my damage here on the right go up substantially. So be wary of people that have shocked ticked on very high. The next one we're going to cover is a loot filter. Now a loot filter in Path of Exile is very necessary because the default loot display in the game is pretty bad. So the loot filter that I recommend is Filter Blade. It's the easiest to use if you don't want to make your own filter, which by the way, you can do that as well. I'll not cover this in here, but if you're interested in things like that, there are video guides out there for this. So Filter Blade can work as a downloadable offline version that you can save or you can sync, your, sync it to your POE account and all the updates that gets made to the loot filter will automatically sync to your account. So I'm going to quickly show you just how to do that. You click here on the top where it says sign in with POE. So on this page you'll put in your login details for whichever one you use whether it is Steam or the standalone client. All right, so unfortunately the servers were down for maintenance at the time that I was recording this, so I cannot show it to you, but let's just go over the rest of it and I'll show you the steps to follow when you are able to install it. So if you scroll down, it just gives you a basic overview of how it would display some currency items and other uniques and so forth. Uh, you can, like I said, change all of this. You can go and change to different styles, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to recommend and use it as standard. Um, I normally use semi-strict or regular. Uh, I play solo cell phone. Uh, you can see here they have a hardcore and softcore version. Then you go to save and download. Now when you have signed in you can save with PoE account. Or you can click on the download tab. Click on option 2 which is download file and here you will download a file documents my games path of exile this is also the correct folder for it to be in for this game so you'll be able to find it jumping over to the game itself if you go to options and game here you will have the list of item filters it's by default set to none now you can go and select the filter that you have downloaded either in the folder where you've downloaded that or you can go and click filter blade here and it will sync to the server um, if you have signed into filter blade the next thing we're going to cover is awaken poe trade now this is specifically useful if you are playing trade league so awaken poe trade i will also link in the description you can download it here by clicking on this link 
um, it ex explains to you how to use it but basically when you hover your cursor over an item you press ctrl d is the default keybind i believe and then it will show you how much these items sell for currently on the market off of exile has four ways that you can play the game you can play it solo self found which means you can't trade with other players you can play trade which is trading with other players and then you have hardcore and softcore now hardcore means if your character dies it's basically gone moved to standard league which means it's not currently a part of the challenge league that we're going to play and uh, if you play softcore you can die as many times as you want you're just you just have an experience penalty every time you die now you can play hardcore trade or softcore trade or a hardcore ssf which is solo self found or softcore ssf for newer players i would suggest softcore trade league is the most forgiving it's the most fun you're going to try whatever you want to do and you don't have to feel stressed if you die a lot lastly pre-launch you're going to have to pick a build i decided not to make a starter guide but if you just type sentinel league starters into youtube you will be able to find many builds many suggestions whatever you want to choose i'm sure you'll be fine most of the creators of both of exile are pretty considerate towards new players all i want to say in terms of your build choice is pick something that seems fun to play not necessarily what the strongest or most meta build is i mean you're gonna have to play this build or want to play this build for a long time so pick something fun and something that appeals to you and not necessarily what is guaranteed to be the strongest know what you want to achieve uh bossing or mapping now there's generally builds that can that are pretty good at both but there are also builds that excel at mapping or bossing it's way harder and more investment to have a middle ground one which excels at both if you're new pick a starter build that doesn't have very high investment to become online so few chase uniques or very hard items to craft is generally what you want to go for so I just suggest again, pick uh, one of those starter builds on YouTube and I'm sure they'll be fine. Starter builds are generally focused for being under geared and low investment and easy to get going with. If experience take into account enabling item acquisition difficulty, it's basically the same story again. If you are experienced and you know how to make certain builds work, it's definitely fine especially this league uh, because the meta is already established due to a lack of uh, balance changes and no new skills being introduced into the game so i do believe that item acquisitions should be pretty predictable so if you have a good idea of what was going on last league and you know how expensive things were just take that into consideration when you start to build during the first three weeks maybe of a league in trade league it could be pretty difficult to get a build enabling items especially if it is a very popular build lastly just remember this is a game so feel free to have fun experiment with different build ideas or different combinations of skills if it doesn't work then so be it during the league you probably want to learn the new league mechanics in this case it will be the sentinel league there will be no guides out for it yet since no one has played it yet but if you want to watch YouTube for a guide, probably in the first day or two, I'm sure there will be some creators that put ones out there. And if you just want to figure out for yourself or go as you want, there's no harm in it at all. I will probably do that as well. And then set yourself some realistic goals. Uh, if you want to kill all the new pinnacle bosses that they added to the game, then you're probably going to have to play for a long time and make a very strong boss killing build. If you just want to have fun, see how far you get, just keep that in mind. Everyone doesn't have to kill every single pinnacle boss in the game in order to have fun. Reroll if you want to or need to. Uh, if, you're, if you don't like your starter build and feel uh, scared to experiment with things. This is a game with m a multitude of different skills. Not everything has been figured out to the T and you might find something very cool that works just that works well enough to beat the game even though there's no build out for it yet maybe you can make that build if guide if you want to so take care of your health especially your wrists Path of exile is a game that's very wrist intensive there's a lot of looting a lot of clicking a lot of hitting shortcuts so just take care of your wrist do some stretches 
And then remember to have fun. This is a game that can easily get very competitive and very try hard. It has a very try hard culture about it, especially if you watch some streamers. Just remember to have fun and do what's fun for you. And then, as I said, there's a lot of streamers. It's a great community around it. Feel free to check out Twitch or YouTube. You can check out me playing it or anyone else that you like. And it just improves the experience to watch someone else struggle through the same stuff you do or exceed at it. And you can have something to strive towards. I really hope you have a great time in Path of the Exile Sentinel. I'll be streaming as much as possible during my off times from work. Uh, so feel free to stop by. I'll link my Twitch in the description as well. Also, I'll link my most successful build from last leak in the description as well. It's a Dex stacking hollow palm ra raider. I had a lot of fun with it. It was a very strong bosser and mapper. So if you want something a bit different that there aren't build guides out for, I'll just link the POV and you can import it. And yeah, I'm sure you all have fun with it like I did. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this helped you. If it did, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. This is the first Path of Excel video I'm making and I'm planning to make a few more. I'll see you in the next one.